From fiery lava worlds to icy gas giants, planets come in all shapes and sizes. From our Milky Way galaxy to universes light years away, there are hundreds of planets. But how exactly do we classify them and ensure they don't overlap when we discuss them? In this video, we will discuss 10 types of planets, highlighting their weight, moons, and the similarities between those in Earth's solar system. So get ready as we explore the universe. Terrestrial planets are rocky, inner planets with solid surfaces, composed mainly of rocks and metals. In our solar system, the terrestrial planets are the four innermost planets. Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Earth are examples of terrestrial planets because they all have a compact and rocky surface. These planets don't have rings around them although Earth has belts of trapped radiation. Of all the terrestrials, Earth is the only one with a substantial planetary magnetic field. Mars and Earth's moon have localized regional magnetic fields, but nothing global. The Sun is the star of the terrestrial planets and the gravitational force that keeps them in orbit. The closest terrestrial planet to the Sun is Mercury, orbiting at 68 million kilometers from it. But ironically, Venus is hotter due to its thick, toxic atmosphere. Compared to gas and ice giants, terrestrial planets are much smaller, have solid ground, and are closer to the Sun. They don't have the swirling atmospheres or deep pressures of the outer giants, but they can still pack a punch, like Venus with its runaway greenhouse effect. Gas giants are large planets mostly composed of helium or hydrogen. They don't have hard surfaces and are instead filled with swirling gases above a solid core. Some examples of gas giants in our solar system are Jupiter and Saturn. Gas giants that are closer to their stars are called hot Jupiters. They were among the first types of exoplanets found. These exoplanets are like Jupiter in relation to their atmosphere, but they differ because their orbit so close to their stars that their temperatures are measured in thousands of degrees. Unlike terrestrial planets that you could theoretically walk on, gas giants have no solid surface, making them more like massive floating storms. And unlike mini Neptunes or sub-Neptunes, which are smaller and somewhat denser, gas giants are more expansive and create massive gravitational wobbles that help astronomers spot them. These gas giants orbit extremely close to their stars, circling them in as short as 18 hours. That's nothing like the slower, more stable orbits of planets like Earth or Mars. Although ice giants are not as big as gas giants, they are large planets composed of icy components such as methane, sulfur, and oxygen. In our solar system, there are two ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. While gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn are mostly hydrogen and helium, ice giants have a much higher percentage of ices, volatile compounds like water, ammonia, and methane. So although they look similar at first glance, their internal makeups are very different. Around 80% of Uranus's mass is made up of a hot, dense fluid of icy materials like water, methane, and ammonia. All of these materials are above a small rocky core and heat up to 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptune, on the other hand, is made of the same structure but is denser and more active. Just like gas giants, ice giants have no solid surface. But while gas giants are known for their size and speed, ice giants are the colder cousins, denser, darker, and even harder to explore. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more massive than Earth, but lighter than ice giants like Uranus. They can be made of gases, rocks, or a combination of both. They are usually between twice the size of Earth and up to 10 times its mass. Unlike terrestrial planets, which have clear classifications, super-Earths are unpredictable. They exist in a gray zone, sometimes rocky, sometimes gaseous, and often both. Compared to gas giants, they're tiny, but compared to Earth, they're absolute beasts. Although they are called super-Earths, they are not necessarily Earth-like. Some may be scorching hot, others could be icy or even snowball planets. Their variability makes them as intriguing as rogue planets, but at least super-Earths orbit stars, which means we might one day be able to study them up close. 
A mini Neptune, sometimes called a gas dwarf or transitional planet, is a planet less massive than Neptune but resembling it in atmosphere. It has a thick hydrogen helium envelope over layers of ice, rock, or ocean. Think of them as the in betweeners. Larger than super Earths but smaller than full blown gas giants, they bridge the gap in the planetary family, sharing traits with both ice giants and rocky planets. Mini Neptunes have a 270 day orbit. The other planets in their orbits were found in the habitable zone, but mini Neptunes themselves are unlikely to support surface water due to their thick and crushing atmospheres. Compared to terrestrial planets, which may have breathable air and manageable gravity, mini Neptunes are essentially too puffed up to support familiar life. Ocean worlds are celestial bodies, both planets and moons, that contain vast amounts of water in the form of oceans, either on the surface or beneath an icy shell. While Earth is the best known ocean world, moons like Europa also fall into this category. Unlike lava planets that burn from within or gas giants that are pure atmosphere, ocean worlds hide their secrets beneath calm looking surfaces. Europa, for example, may have more liquid water beneath its crust than all of Earth's oceans combined, compared to ice giants or gas dwarfs, which offer no place to land or explore safely. Ocean worlds tempt scientists with potential signs of life just under the surface. A lava planet is a type of extraterrestrial planet with a surface composed of molten lava. It's like a volcano that never sleeps. Unlike ocean worlds that hide water under icy crusts, lava planets roast under constant heat. They are usually the result of extreme proximity to a star or a post-collision surface left molten. An example of a lava planet is K2141b, a super-Earth. It has a mass five times larger than Earth and completes an orbit in just 6.7 hours. So while it's similar in size to super-Earths, it's completely different in surface conditions, more like a burning rock than a potential home. In a tidally locked planet, one side always faces the star while the other is frozen in darkness. This creates a world of extremes, eternal daylight on one side and permanent night on the other. This is different from lava planets where the whole surface can be molten. In tidally locked worlds, the star-facing side could be scorching, while the dark side could be frozen solid. Imagine living on a planet where the concept of sunrise doesn't exist. While gas giants or ice giants spin freely, tidally locked planets are stuck in a gravitational rhythm, similar to how our moon always shows the same face to Earth. Rogue planets are free-floating planets that aren't tied to any star. They wander the galaxy alone, born from broken systems or formed in isolation. Compared to tidally locked planets or gas giants bound to stars, rogue planets are cosmic orphans. No sun, no orbit, no day or night. Just endless drift through interstellar darkness. Despite this, scientists believe there could be trillions of these lonely travelers in the Milky Way alone. A possible example is Cha 11090937733444, believed to be a rogue planet or sub-brown dwarf. And finally, we have dwarf planets, small planetary bodies that orbit the sun, but haven't cleared their orbital paths. Unlike gas giants that dominate their regions or even rogue planets that roam independently, dwarf planets are stuck in crowded neighborhoods like the Kuiper Belt. Pluto is the most famous among them. Dwarf planets are mostly icy and far from the sun, compared to terrestrial planets that can support life or ice giants with extreme weather. Dwarfs are quiet, frozen time capsules, tiny but important pieces of the cosmic puzzle. From molten hellscapes to frozen water worlds, the universe is full of strange and diverse planets, and we've only scratched the surface. What stands out most is how each type of planet fits into the cosmic puzzle, and how many of them blur the lines between categories. A super-Earth could become a lava world, a tidally locked planet could share traits with ice giants and terrestrial ones. With over 5,600 exoplanets discovered, and countless more to come, we're just getting started. If you enjoyed going on this journey of discovering different types of planets and want to explore more secrets of the universe, subscribe to our channel. There's a lot more out there. 
and some planets may not even fit into any category we know.